A wood chip bioreactor is a large trench filled with wood chips that treats nitrate in tile drains. This video will show the installation of a bioreactor at Purdue's Throckmorton Purdue Agricultural Center. Construction of the bioreactor started by excavating the hole and then lining it with a plastic liner. Because the bioreactor treats water in a tile drain, we'll start with the tile itself. The tile was uncovered, as you see here, and a water control structure installed to divert drainage water into the bioreactor. The control structure is set so that as much water as possible can pass through the bioreactor. Here we are looking at the tile flowing out of the control structure and into the bioreactor. Solid PVC pipe replaces the perforated corrugated tubing upstream of the bioreactor. Here the water flows into the perforated tubing and enters the bioreactor. This shows the entire perforated tube and the control structure upstream lying on the plastic lining. Water will exit this perforated tube or tile and flow into the wood chips. At the other end of the bioreactor, it will flow back into another perforated tube that leads to an outlet and that outlet is controlled by another water control structure. Next, the wood chips were added. Wood chips provide habitat and food for denitrifying bacteria, which are what actually treat the nitrate. The wood chips were spread over the entire plastic lining. This bioreactor was installed as an educational field day, so many contractors took part. This allowed them to experience a bioreactor construction. The wood chips should be level for equal saturation throughout the bioreactor. Here they're checking the elevation with a laser level. Wood chips can be spread with a variety of equipment from this small bobcat to the excavators. The wood chips were not specialized for this application, but were simply what was available on site when trees from a previous experiment were removed. No research has showed any advantage of a particular type of wood chip, and the size should be large enough to allow water to pass through. An unusual feature of this bioreactor is that we installed observation wells so we can monitor the water table level in the bioreactor. Finally, landscape fabric was placed over the wood chips to keep soil from entering the wood chip bed, which could lead to clogging. Here you can see the landscape fabric laid over the entire surface. The final step was to backfill the remaining foot or so with soil to allow vegetation to reestablish. It's important to save the topsoil separately so it can be used for this purpose. Here is the finished bioreactor as vegetation started to reestablish. Here it is several months later. One thing about a bioreactor is that it gets harder to see that anything is there at all. And here it is with a rich carpet of vegetation providing highly effective nitrate treatment three feet below the surface and allowing landowners to enjoy and use the land above.